No, it's all good. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Samayo, and we're back for another edition of Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting. This will be episode 533, and we're going to be shiny hunting for Rotom. So when I finally do find a shiny Rotom, um, it's not only actually just, you know, the basic Rotom, but Rotom actually has six other forms, being, um, Lawnmower, Fan, um, what are the other ones? Oven, refrigerator, freezer, and washing machine. So it has seven total shiny Rotoms that I want to hunt for, but I'll tell you the nicknames for each of them. So basic shiny Rotom, because it's like a strawberry applesauce color, I decided with the simple name Strawtom. And then for the uh, fan Rotoms, I'll be calling it Straw Phantom instead of like, you know, F-A-N, it's, it's Phantom. So, um, because it's like a ghost type, so. Yeah, but anyways, then for the oven, it'll be called Straw Roast Tom, and then for the freezer, it'll be called Straw Frost Tom, and then for the, um, the washing machine, if it can fit, Straw Washing Tom, or if it's just, uh, yeah, if that can fit. If not, then I'll think of another nickname. And then for the, um... The refrigerator straw contain tom, if that fits as well. And for the lawnmower straw mo tom. So, <laughs> pretty basic. I wanted to have like the tom for row tom, but also the straw for strawberry applesauce color, because it's just, when it's shiny, it's like that's how it looks like to me at least. And then obviously for those certain forms, it'll like, do that specific stuff. So, anyway, the topic for this episode is by me. It's about Minecraft. And it's actually, um,. It's actually the final topic for Minecraft that I have so far. Um, it's pretty much what servers do you play on in Minecraft, if you play any servers, and also what mini games do you like to play? Because usually servers they have like these mini games that usually uh, you have to get like a certain plugin. So it's, it's vanilla, but it's like um, it seems like it's a mod, so that's what's called a plugin. Um, so for me, basically, I never really actually played this mini game that I'm going to say, but I would love to play uh, on a server that has the mini game that it's like you would wait for the time to stop and when the time stops and you, if you're not on the right block that shows up in your inventory and it's really hard because some of the colors look almost exactly the same I mean you would have to like hold the block and then you do like the trick where you place the block down next to the block you think it is and then step on that one because if you're not on that block all the other blocks will disappear and then you'll fall down and lose so it's kind of like um, how would I explain? It's kind of like musical chairs almost. Except uh, as, long, as long as you're on the block, it doesn't matter if someone else is on it, you'll be fine. Because all the other blocks will get erased. And it gets like harder each time because it goes faster. And I like the ones like the WarioWare mini games as well, where it's not like against other people. Because you know I don't like doing that to random people, just like pissing them off like that. The games that you actually move around yourself, like your character and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think those would be really good mini games that I would love to play eventually. After I get done with the whole um, 1.7.10 Bleach and uh, Naruto Vanilla Survival, not Vanilla, Modded Survival that I'm doing right now, but pretty much Vanilla besides those mods, and then of course a few mods that help like crafting guide, off the find, and uh, custom NPCs just for story. And then of course also the one with the, where it's just Dragon Block C. Uh, than the helpful mods other than that, but um, after I get done with that, I probably will like to connect with people on different servers. I uh, probably would go on the latest version that I'm able to with Optifine, which is 1.12.2, so I'm sure there's going to be some servers out there that are still at that version. I would hope so, and have some fun mini games Just to play with other people, it's really nice. Um, especially if you like, uh, like try to bond with new people. Like, I like doing that all the time on Twitch. Whenever someone comes in and says hello, or is one of my already uh, here fans, um, yeah, I really like connecting with people. So I think that would be fun eventually. But I'm just curious to know, what kind of mini games do you like to play? Because obviously if I had people I knew, I would like to, you know, do stuff like battle against them, like play Hunger Games against them or something like that. Or, um, or you know, just those mini games that I wouldn't mind doing to people that I know. Like, that we, as long as we, we know we won't both get mad. Um, because with random people, you never know that we'll set people off and things. That, that's how school shootings happen and all that stuff. Because people just say, oh, it's a game, but then, um, you know, that happens because they get pissed off at something that was in, like, online or something like that. 
and then they take their anger out on other people. Um, so yeah, I think it's very considerate not to do that to other people. Like if it's something like a card game to where, you know, it's just not you and the other char- and the other person like controlling like a movie character. Because when it comes to those kind of games, that's when people get really pissed. But if it's something like a card game like with Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, because I, I duel people, random people all the time. Uh, well, not nowadays, not that much because I don't have that much free time because I still am catching up on stuff and got work to do with like the whole block turns thing. Um, but eventually, what I do because I used to just play once a day when I have like I know I have a lot of free time. Um, but yeah, I'm just you know pretty much just how I would do things. But I'm curious to know what are the ones that you like to play, uh, just in general, you know, or if you just want to play but you've never played it, but you just like seen them on YouTube or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to know. Anyway, what I did yesterday, uh, I didn't really actually do much besides, I, well actually, yeah, I did do quite a bit. I made a whole nother three, I think, yeah, I made four total bookshelves yesterday. I only have a few le- leather left, so I'll need to, um, I'll actually need to go get, go get leather hunting, but where I left off is I'm going to go in the nether and hopefully find a bunch of Menos Grande because I really want to get my spiritual pressure trained up and hopefully get some, you know, Reishi and Mask Shards, mainly Reishi, uh, Reishi because, um, because I want to be able to make my Quincy Armor and my Quincy Pentacle and probably even the Zilla Schneider, which is the energy sword, um, just for power as well. Um, but yeah, I really want that because right now I'm just playing, you know, my powers, I just have the Jutsus and all that. Um, not really any of my, you know, Quincy class that I wanted to. I have enough Lapis, I have definitely enough Lapis blocks to make it, it's just I don't have any, um, Soul Cloth, which you need a lot of Reishi for. Because each Soul Cloth is one Reishi block, which you make out of nine Reishi, and then surround that Reishi block with basic Reishi, and that's how you get a Soul Cloth. So that would be a total of... 9 plus 8, that would be 17 each for each soul cloth, so, um, and you need about, I don't know how much soul cloth for each, all three of the Quincy armor pieces, being the tunic, um, leggings, and the boots, um, but like I said, I have the, uh, lapis thing covered, it's just, I'm gonna eventually go hollow hunting, and, um, also, eventually diamond hunting, just to get for that looting sword, and then the silk touch diamond pickaxe as well. But obviously I need to get a lot more leather to actually complete my enchantment table. Because I have like 40 levels of experience, but I'm not going to use it yet until I actually can do a level 30 enchantment. Um, so that's mainly the two things I'm carried about. I'm carried about, if I can speak, caring about enchanting, which is the diamond pickaxe and the diamond sword. Just the diamond sword for that looting three, so it'll be easier to get the mask drops and the pretty much always reishi drops from the hollows. And then also... Um, the fortune three pickaxe and the diamond pickaxe well that'll be a separate one but then another one for uh well actually i probably won't even care about fortune three once i have well actually no because then there's no mending in 1.7.10 so you would need to stack up on diamonds when you want to heal those eventually because i'm going to be using that looting three sword a lot i know that for sure i'm not going to be using the silk touch one pickaxe as much as i as the diamond you know sword and just as like a normal pickaxe because that's only going to be when i pick up my ender chest when i make it um, so I already have one Ender Pearl, surprisingly, because I actually, really early in that world somewhere, I defeated an Enderman and I got an Ender Pearl, so I was like really, really lucky with that. I think it was in the cave or something, I'm pretty sure it was in the cave. Um, but yeah, either way, I did complete the quarry all the way down to level 11, I got all the lines set up. Um, so whenever I want a diamond, uh, strip mine hunt, I'll go ahead and do that, but yeah. So anyways, um, that's about it really that I did, really nothing else that I can think of. So yeah, I'm just curious, I mean not curious, I'm just excited to play more of that, uh, because I know since today's going to be 10 hour Tuesday, I'm not going to have probably any time to do anything else except for work and then eat and then go to sleep afterwards, because I'm going to be busy the whole day. Oh, that's another thing that happened, so... Um, obviously you're not seeing this, like, super early, you can see the sun out and everything. Um, so, yeah, the whole six hours thing did not work for me. I was able to do it two days in a row, but, no, I felt like I was going to pass out yesterday when I was just, like, watching that, 
uh, Grand Theft Auto Five Let's Play video just like as the last thing I was gonna do in that day. So I was like, nah, I'm just gonna go back to eight hours of sleep because it worked for a little while. Um, but no, it just do not. If you're just naturally, you know, trying to get sleep and all that, and you don't consume like caffeine or anything like that, don't don't try it. You can try, like I said, just like I would probably still try something like that just to see if it'll work for me. But it just just it's you'll see what I mean when it happens. It's just I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Crazy. But anyways, um, yeah. So that's pretty much about all that happened with me yesterday. Uh, but I look forward to the 10-hour Tuesday stream today. Because obviously in the past two days, I only made them like, they've both about been 7-hour long streams because I trained Nidoking to level 100, which is that's my soul Pokemon, uh, two days ago. And then yesterday I trained Lu soul Pokemon Staraptor to level 100. And then now today in 10 hour Tuesday stream, it was going to be long anyways, but I'm going to make sure to train um, Lantern to level 100. So then I'll have the whole Trinity soul Pokemon, so that'll be awesome. Um, but yeah, you'll know more about it in that stream anyways. Alright, I'll be ending off episode 583.